Welcome back to Start E-Learning. In last class, we have discussed about uh, the dimensionality reduction technique. So, how this uh, dimensionality reduction would be? These are the dimensionality reduction techniques uh, that uh, are uh, popularly used. But in our syllabus, we have only the principal component analysis, which we are going to discuss in this class itself. And uh, uh, while coming to the Fisher linear discriminant analysis, it's very important in the machine learning. So, it's not in your in our syllabus. So we'll discuss uh, this. Uh, in the machine learning uh, series okay now without uh, wasting our time uh, let's skip into the today's topic that is a principal component analysis principal component analysis is well known dimensionality reduction technique so as we know the principal component is the dimensionality reduction technique which is used for reducing uh, the dimensions from higher dimensions to the lower dimensions it transforms the variables into a new set of variables called principal components here here we are redu reducing the uh, dimensions from higher dimensions to lower dimensions the obtained dimensions is known as uh, here the principal components okay these principal components are linear combination of original variables and are orthogonal variables so this is the combination of the original variables and the orthogonal variables the first principal component uh, accounts for most of the possible variation of original data Okay, the uh, first principal component uh, uh, analysis in the principal component analysis, the prince, first principal component accounts for the most of the possible variations of the original data. Next, the second component does its best, best to capture the variance of the data. So, in the second uh, component, we are going to capture the variance uh, in the data. Okay, there can be only two principal components uh, for a two dimensional data set okay so whenever we have the two dimensional uh, data set so for that only we have the two principal components okay now very very important uh, algorithm which we are going to uh, see is the pca algorithm principal component analysis algorithm so these are some of the steps which are involved in solving the problems which are uh, given in the pca algorithm so first we have to get the data getting data and we have to compute the mean vector of the given vectors and subtract the mean vector uh, from the given data calculate the covariance matrix and calculate the eigenvectors and the eigenvalues of the covariance matrix choosing the components and forming a feature ve feature vector here uh, uh, so up after obtaining this uh, covariance matrix we are going to choose the components away and we will form the feature vector and deriving the new data set from the feature vectors okay so this is what uh, a very very important algorithm uh, it will be helped in solving the principal component analysis problems okay now we will see how these principal component analysis problems will be asked see here uh, there may be a chance of uh, uh, asking in three different ways of this uh, principal component analysis problem see here uh, they may give like this given data is 2, 3, 4, 5, uh, 6, 7 and 1, 5, 3, 6, 7, 8. He see here, here semicolon is mentioned over there. Okay. Likewise. So this is one of the uh, process of uh, asking question in the university examinations. So uh, for this given data, we need to compute the principal component analysis by using the PCA algorithm. And so there might be a chance of asking like this consider the two dimensional uh, patterns like 2 comma 1 3 comma 5 4 comma 3 5 comma 6 6 comma 7 7 comma 8 compute the principal component using pc algorithm this is one of the process of asking uh, uh, the question in your university examinations now uh, there might be a chance of asking like this compute the principal component uh, for the following data uh, so uh, yeah, these three questions are same but the chance of asking a question is different okay see here x they are given and y they are given next likewise okay so this is what are the process uh, that they will ask in your examination now we'll try to compute the solution for this problem as we know the first <coughs> step in the uh, principal component analysis uh, is the getting data so we are getting the data from the what given problem uh, see here while they are given like this in the sense we have to transform this data set into 2 comma 1 next 3 comma 5 next 4 comma 3 next 5 comma 
6 next 6 comma 7 7 comma 8 so this is what the data set that they are given so here uh, there is no need of a struggling a lot uh, directly they are given but when we come to here here we need to uh, take uh, like this so in the same way 2 comma 1 3 comma 5 4 comma 3 and then 5 comma 6 6 comma 7 and 7 comma 8 here they are divided uh, the data set into two classes that's it so in the first step we are getting the data see here the feature vectors the given feature vectors are 2 comma 1 3 comma 5 4 comma 3 5 comma 6 6 comma 7 and 7 comma 8 these are the given uh, vectors and now we need to uh, form the vectors for the given data set okay so this is how uh, we would uh, represent uh, the vectors right so if it is a 2 comma 1 in the sense we will write this into a vectors as like this 2 comma 1 if it is 3 comma 5 uh, okay like this 4 comma 3 this would be written like this so if i wanted to convert uh, the data set uh, into the vectors in the sense this is what the process here uh, we are uh, forming the vectors for all the given pair of the data okay likewise so we form the vectors now the next process is we are going to compute the mean vector of the given vectors so here we have uh, the data right 2 plus 3 plus uh, 4 plus 5 plus 6 plus 7 so we have to compute the mean vectors okay so uh, summing or adding up of these uh, values and divided by 6 here why because here we have 6 data set in the same way adding up of these all and divided by 6 okay so this is what uh, the process over here so calculating the mean vector here uh, we computed the mean vector next the next step of uh, the pc algorithm is we have to subtract the uh, given vectors from the mean vector right see here so the given vector is this one but uh, we are uh, subtracting the mean vector for, uh, from the given vector okay see here this is how we are subtracting from the all the vectors this is what the process is okay we have to subtract the given vectors from the what this mean vector so once after completion of uh, the subtraction we will obtain these vectors okay these are the vectors which we are obtained after subtraction next the fourth step of the principal component analysis is we have to compute the covariance of a matrix as we know covariance of a matrix can be uh, defined as the uh, see here the given vector minus uh, the mean vector into the transpose of the given vector to the n okay so this is what uh, the process of finding of the covariance matrix so please make a note of it now see here the uh, from this particular data set this is what the obtained uh, components uh, from the uh, subtraction so we are going to perform the multiplication operation uh, initially so minus 2.5 uh, into uh, minus 2.5 minus 4 into transpose of this particular data set so see here this is how we will compute the mean vector see here x1 minus mu so this is what the vector so x1 minus mu whole transpose this is what uh, we transpose over here when we uh, multiply these two matrices in the sense we will obtain like this okay so see in the same way we have to compute for the second vector third vector fourth vector and the fifth vector vector and fifth sixth vector okay now we need to find the covariance right so for the covariance i already told you it is summation of xi the given vector minus the mean vector into the given vector minus mean vector to the whole transpose divided by n okay so this is how we are finding then finally we obtain this covariance matrix okay this is what the obtained covariance matrix is now the next step in the pca algorithm is calculation of the eigenvalues and the eigenvectors of the given covariance matrix as we know 
so to find the covariance matrix uh, the formula is a minus lambda times of sorry a minus lambda i equals to 0 okay so here uh, lambda is the constant which we are multiplying to the uh, unit vector the obtained values of uh, this lambda are the eigenvalues of uh, this vector okay so uh, you people are uh, well known about uh, these eigenvector uh, uh, derivations okay so this is how we will find out the eigenvectors okay so this is what the process and uh, we are computing uh, see here we are finding the data for this uh, particular matrix so after finding the determinant see here uh, this is what the equation we obtained finally this is what the equation we obtained so then we have to find out the eigenvalues that is lambda values when we compute the lambda values the lambda values will be 8.22 and 0.38 okay so this the two eigen values are 8.22 and 0.38 clearly the second eigen value is very small compared to the first okay so it's very small uh, first eigen value so the second eigen vector can be left out why because it's very small that's why we are lifting uh, this eigen value now we are only considering this lambda value okay next eigen vector corresponding to the greatest eigen value in the principal component for the given data asset so we can find the eigen vector corresponding to the eigen value lambda one so uh, by using this lambda one value we are going to compute the eigen vector for this okay so the uh, this is how we will find uh, the eigen vector so m is a matrix uh, that we uh, that is a covariance matrix and uh, x are the vectors and uh, we are multiplying uh, with the lambda value that is obtained lambda value to the vector okay so see here m is the covariance matrix x is eigen vector and uh, lambda is the eigen value so this is how we would compute the uh, eigen vector of the given component see here solving uh, this we will get see here this is how we will solve so finally we will get on the uh, on the simplification we will get x1 value as x1 equals to 0 0.69 uh, times of x2 okay this is uh, how uh, it would be then from 2 the eigen vector is so finally uh, uh, you people may know about uh, this finding of eigen values and eigen vectors so you just go through uh, the video now that we uh, mentioned in the m1 series itself now the obtained eigen vector is 2.55 and 3.67 okay so this is what the eigen vector we obtained now thus the principal component for the given uh, data set is so the obtained uh, eigen vector is the principal component for the given data set and then we project the data points onto the new subspace okay the obtained points uh, we are going to uh, what plot over here okay see here uh, this is uh, how we plotted 2 comma 1 and the next uh, 4 comma uh, likewise so we have to plot like this okay then i already told you dimensional anti reduction is a process of conversion of uh, the data set from higher dimensions to the lower dimensions so this is how uh, it would be so this is what the line uh, which we are uh, created by using this uh, principal component okay 2.55 and 3.67 okay uh, by using uh, that point we drawn this line okay the obtained values uh, shows the similar properties as the uh, the original data set okay so this is what uh, the first problem is then we'll skip to the second problem use a pci algorithm to transform the pattern so they are given the pattern 2 comma 1 onto the eigen vector in the previous question itself so we are solving uh, from the previous question itself so the given feature vector is uh, 2 comma 1 okay again uh, uh, one uh, new feature vector is added here so uh, as we know the feature vector get transformed into transpose of the eigen vector into feature vector minus main vector okay 
the feature vector is a transformed the obtained feature vector is a transformed as like this so we can uh, compute uh, this as transpose of the eigen vector into feature vector minus mean vector okay see here this is what uh, this is how we will uh, find out the value okay so what we need to find in this so use pc algorithm to find uh, to transform the pattern to come over onto the eigen vector in the previous question so uh, the eigen vector is converted as like this okay next so this is what uh, the applications of the principal component analysis the principal component analysis is um, most widely used in the image processing and uh, movie recommendation system as well as the uh, what music recommendation like uh, song recommendation system and optimizing the power allocation in the various uh, communication channel so these and all are the applications of PCA algorithm okay these are the applications of PCA algorithm so this is what uh, the PCA algorithm works like the PC algorithm is based on the some mathematical concepts such as variance and covariance, eigenvalues and eigenvectors. So while solving the problem itself, you might be wondering that. So uh, there uh, we are uh, using the mathematical uh, concepts such as variance and the covariance. And then eigenvalues and eigenvectors. Okay. Next, uh, these are some of the uh, important uh, terms that uh, we are going to use in the uh, previous uh, what PC algorithm. So dimensionality. Uh, as I told you, so uh, it is the number of features of the variables present in the given data set. That is, it is number of data sets. Okay, so this is what uh, the dimensionality is. Correlation, correlation is nothing but uh, uh, the relation between the variables. And next, orthogonality. It defines that variables are not correlated to each other. Okay, uh, the variables that are given is not correlated to each other. This would be uh, studied under the orthogonality. And eigenvectors, so you people are well aware about all this um, eigenvectors next to covariance matrix. So, uh, these are the important uh, concepts in the principal component analysis algorithm. You just to go through the uh, problem as well as the PCA algorithm, which is very important to your university examinations. So, once again, we will see uh, the principal component analysis algorithm. So the steps involved in the principal component analysis algorithm is first we have to get the data and we have to compute the mean vector of the given uh, uh, data set and then we have to subtract uh, the each and every data set uh, from the mean vector and we have to calculate the covariance matrix. Covariance matrix can be obtained by using the given vector minus uh, mean vector into given vector minus mean vector whole transpose to the n, n number of vectors and then calculation of the eigenvectors and the eigenvalues of the covariance matrix whenever uh, if you are having uh, the uh, small uh, value in the sense at that time you just omit uh, the eigenvalue and uh, you, the value which you are having uh, the highest value you just take that value and uh, try to compute the Again, uh, vector for that matrix. Next, uh, choosing the components and uh, forming the feature vectors. Okay, so by the components, we are going to form the new feature vector and then deriving a new data set. Okay, so uh, if you like the video, please try to share to your uh, uh, friends and also try to subscribe to our channel. Press the notification button to get the more updates. Thank you. Yeah.